Welcome to part four of my Crash Bandicoot playthrough. Now this level is one of the reasons why it got ridiculously hard, as I was talking about last part. But I happened upon a secret, so I'm excited about that because I get to show you something that maybe you actually did not know. And I literally just accidentally found it. Like I found it and it was just weird. Like at first I thought it was just like a glitch or something. I'm like, what the hell is this? And then eventually I figured it out. I'm like, oh, oh, I see. Oh, damn it. Don't get, don't get a, in a rush. Cause that will not help you. As you saw there. Alright, this level starts off pretty easy and then just start, starts getting dr gradually harder. Fuck, that was my bad. That's one of the times where the game wasn't actually being cheap. I was just being a complete moron. Oh. Let's not get ahead of ourselves this time. There we go. Kill the flower. Eat mercy more. It's a good movie. It's funny. If you haven't seen it, you should. I love the music though. In this. I like the kind of like weird singing. It's kind of cool. Half makes up for the retardedness of the level. Oh, fuck it. Oh, now I'm in a hurry. And you all know what happens when I get in a hurry. Alright, this is where it starts getting a little bit more difficult once you get up here to the second level. I don't even know if we get through the entire level in this part. Like, I seriously do not know. Oh, shit. Oh, and then there's just one level, and it's like two or three levels after this. That's just so hard. Especially because there's one enemy that, like, literally just don't die. Fuck, uh, what the hell? Seriously? Some of these enemies are just ridiculously difficult to defeat. I mean, if you don't have your timing right on. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? How did I not land on- Wow, that was kind of cool. Yeah, fuck you. Okay. Wow. See there, I mean, it makes- I mean, it really should go higher, because it makes you so timid on that jump, because you think you're going to hit those bottom spikes. Or not have bottom spikes. I mean, it's just these mind tricks that are just- really get the best of you. Fuck! Yeah, you ain't snapping me. What the hell? That's all I can. That's all I can think of right now. Feed me. Okay, let's get rid of this douchebag. Jump over here. Alright, here's Tricky. Now where you're going is get that one. Get that one. And then do that, I guess. I don't I'm not doing it that way. I guess that's like the one time I actually got it perfect, but there's actually a better way to do it, and I'll show you that after I die eventually. Okay. So I think this is, I think I do get it to save, because now I'm just like, screw getting the boxes. I mean, it's just ridiculously not worth it. Especially the ones over the edges, over the uh, side like this. Fuck that. 18%. Oh, my nose hurts so bad. 
crash crash bandicoot native fortress whatever but the, the crappy thing about the uh, save is you don't start back here when you load it again you have to start at the beginning so I mean they really like made it as hard as possible to really get through this game like and then like yeah alright secrets coming up here now see where that turtle is see that kind of where there's not a spike behind you behind me that's actually a s secret spot where you can go behind that and walk behind the wall and you can avoid all this shit that goes on here I mean, it is a very useful shortcut. Let's see if I... I think I find it here, but I don't actually use it. Because I get stuck, I'm like, what the hell is this? I'm glitching. And then I get eaten by the flower. Or no, I run into that. Because I, I come, I came off of it. Uh, I think it, it still takes me a couple times to figure out that that's a shortcut. Alright, let's I don't know. I still haven't figured it out, obviously. Oh, I was close. Now, this timing, I mean, this timing, you have to be spot on. Damn it! I mean, see, the timing, like, oh, timing is just ridiculous. Oh, damn. I'm done in my own life. Whatever. Whatever. There it is again. I came back off of it. Oh, no, here we go. Sweet. How awesome is that? It makes things so much easier. And here's where it stops again. Maybe come back over at that one where there's not a spike. Look for the fire to burn. Oh, or not. So if you ever see a stop in the spikes, even ahead of this, just jump to see if you can get on it. Oh, shit, shit, shit. I, like, this is just ridiculously dumb. Though, where is that pink, pink stuff? I have no idea. And to put an enemy on one of those sliding hills is just so stupid. Oh, all right. So this is the home stretch here. I don't think there's any enemies. So once you get up here, you should be good. So I think I actually do make it through. I'm trying to remember. I think so. Fuck. I mean, it's, it's difficult to get up here because of the stupid s system they've got here. Oh, whatever. Oh, because you always hit the top, the one you're trying to get on when you jump to the next platform. And this makes things way too difficult. I mean, seriously. Shit. Fuck! Wow, like, this is just so dumb. Oh! Why? Well, okay, I'm, now I'm just being stupid, though. You always have to hit it before you jump to it. Like, you can't jump in and land on it at the same time. Oh! Look at all those lives! Fuck, no! Oh, I just hit one away? Are you kidding me? Ah! Uh. Oh, I'm such a dumb fuck. So I guess that concludes part four of my, wow, my uh, Crash Bandicoot uh, playthrough. I'll see you next time in part five, or we'll take on the, s the Sega Island. That's right. Yeah.